love with Pat's two cents. I want you to hear this because I'm going to help. I'm going to attempt to paint a picture in your mind. So to kind of help you grasp what may be happening in your life. Okay. We've got dilemmas. We've got issues. We've got problems. We've got frustrations, confusion, and we feel like we are lost in the sauce and we need help finding our way so here you are well let's use me okay now i'm going to use a, a scenario i just came in the house with my husband scenario now okay just come in the house with my husband he goes and sits in the recliner i do dinner but I gotta go back out in the car and I can't find my keys, the car's locked. I'm looking for my keys. And I'm like, Milton, did you see my keys? No, baby, you just had them. I know, okay, let me look in the drawer. Let me look in the cabinet. Let me look in the freezer. You know how we do when we go shopping. We don't know where keys may end up. So you're looking in your jacket pockets and your pants pockets and in your husband's pants pockets. I mean, you're looking everywhere. Can't find a pocketbook, whatever. And where did I put my keys? And then what does hubby say? Why don't you check the door? Oh, okay. So you go and you check the door. It's not in the door. And then you open the door just per chance. And there they are sitting right in the <laughs> so you find your keys with the help of someone else saying why don't you look here or look there well i'm the one saying why don't you look here or look there because there are times when we get so caught up in life's issues and and complications we get lost we don't know where we put us we don't know who we are anymore. We lose our identity. We take up other people's identities. And we assume that that belongs to me. Ergo, I am that. And you're not. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. So, what ends up happening is you you actually have an identity crisis. You have no idea where you're coming from. You have no idea where you're headed. You have no idea what you're about. You have no idea who you are. Yet, you've got all the answers about where you ain't going. You ain't got time for religion you ain't doing church i don't do church you ain't interested in the bible you ain't that convinced that god is real or his son for that matter mm -hmm. you got opinions you got uh suppositions you got tons of what ifs and what about but, 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 you got debates coming and going. But you still don't know who you are. You don't know where you're coming from. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're about. Why are you even here? You have no clue. But you got a whole bunch of buts and a whole bunch of debates. All right. Now, my point is, you go through life like I did. You're sleeping with Tom, Dick, Harry, and their pappies. You're turning tricks. You're getting high or trying to. Yeah, <laughs> that high word is comical. You are selling yourself short. You're pleasing, pleasing. Please, please like me. Ooh, please love me. Ooh, please tell
tell me I'm important to you. Ooh, well, do you like me? Ooh, am I good enough for you? Shut up! Okay, now, so now that you've gone through all that, you still don't know who you are. Now, you know your first and last name, you know your address, your phone number. Good for you. But you don't know who the heck you are. And while you're going through life and you're searching here, you're searching there, you're searching everywhere, God is sitting up here saying, why don't you ask me where you put your keys? I know where the key is. The key is in the door. I'll even show you where the door is. Why don't you ask me? I created you. I know why I put you on the face of this earth. I know who you are. And I can tell you who you are if you give me a chance. I can tell you where you're coming from and where you're headed if you give me a chance. I can tell you why you're here, what your purpose is, what your callings and giftings are. If you give me a chance. But you'd rather be lost. Toying with Tom. Toying with Dick. Toying with Harry. Neither Tom nor Dick nor Harry knows who they are. Sue, Mary, and Jane. Neither Sue nor Mary nor Jane know who they are. And you're chasing booties and boobs and and, and curls and weaves and all this stuff trying to find a woman to make you feel like the man that you are not because you have no idea who you are in the first place. Why? Because you're lost. You lost you. Somewhere down the road, you lost the man and you have no idea where you put him. You, have no, you wouldn't recognize him if you saw him. But God would like to introduce you to you. Male and female. I'm talking to both of y'all. I'm talking to everybody. God is sitting there in the recliner waiting for you to ask him, Who am I? I spent my life doing it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not painting a picture. I don't know anything about you guys. You're talking to the biggest sucker that ever lived. It took God to tell me who I was, why I was born, what I'm here for. It took God. It took God to heal the hurt, to fill all the needs so that I don't have to run around. <laughs> Would you love me? <laughs> do you like me? <laughs> Am I good enough? I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to spend my life <laughs> <laughs> licking my wounds because God heals them. The key is J-E-S-U-S. -S. The door is J-E-S-U-S. -S. And you are hidden in J-E-S-U-S. God the Father will introduce you to you. But you first have to go through Jesus to get to the Father. Done.